Hi, this is Brian Garcy at the Beautiful Ocean Reef Club, and today I'd like to talk to you about the length of the backswing. I, I get often asked if you should have a longer backswing or a shorter backswing. Um, a lot of people talk about being compact with their swing, and it really comes down to personally uh, how your personality is. Somebody that's kind of long and lanky and they're, or they're a mellow person probably is going to have a longer backswing and a lot slower. Somebody that's fast moving and fast talking, type A personality, they're typically going to be shorter backswing and somebody middle of the road will kind of have a middle backswing. And the big key is what we do with our shift when that happens depending on the length that you have. So anybody that has a short backswing needs to have an early lateral shift onto their front foot. Somebody that has a medium length backswing has a, can have a slightly later um, and somebody with a long Freddie Couples, Bob Murphy, slow, they have a little bit later shift to that front foot. So let me see if I can show you three different examples here. So if you have a short backswing, you need to have an early lateral shift in that front foot. Medium length backswing, you need to have sort of a medium shift to that front foot. And if you have a long, slow backswing, you can take a lot longer to get to that front foot and let the arms follow. So length determines when our shift needs to be and they go together. Uh, if you have a long backswing with an early shift, you're gonna probably have some trouble. And if you have a short backswing and a late shift, you're gonna have some trouble. So try to match your backswing length to your lateral shift forward to that front foot. Thanks.